McDonald Land Soccer Team 3000. What's more dangerous than trying to kick soccer balls with clown shoes on? It's just a tripping hazard waiting to happen. That's not made for kids, and neither is this video. <laughs> McDonald Land Soccer from 1997, Team 3000. Look at this. I got all four of these things. This is how they come packaged, in case you were wondering, in case you remember from 1997 and you got one of these while you're eating your chicken McNuggets. This is what they look like. Let's get them all open and see what's inside. First up is Birdie looking super futuristic. This is what happens to birds in the year 3000. They become cyborg birds or cybirds if you if you will and <laughs> this is like an inbound passing birdie and what you do is you use both fingers so you don't break something and it will click in place like this and the button you don't really want to dry fire this too much but for demonstration purposes i will you push the button and you watch your fingers man they'll break your thumb it's like a mouse trap also, she can pose. As you can see here, you can move the head around. You can move the torso around on this super-duper high-tech tread system. But really, in reality, what's supposed to happen here, this is supposed to be the inbound pass. She's supposed to balance the ball on her head like that. And then you're meant to launch it using this blue button in the back. I'm going to try... Oh, stay now. I'm going to try to do that without breaking my fingers off and having this fail. So let's give it a whirl. Go! Ow. It hurt seriously, but it chucked it across the room. Two thumbs up. Of course, we got to try to hit the camera, right? We always got to do that. Oh, not bad. How about here? Oh, getting closer. Oh, there it is. Next, we have the very evolved version of Hamburglar. The Hamburglar in the year 3000. Looks like Unicron gave him a Galvatron reformatting. Check it out, man. He's got some... He's got some rocket boosters in the back. You know he can fly around like craziness. And I think this is his tie, still with the hamburger stuff on it. You can you could pose his head a little bit back and forth. Nice heavy plastic here. This thing's heavy, by the way, just so you know. 1997, made in China. So you're meant to push this down like this. And then this is what he uses. It's not hands. Doesn't use his hands. His hands are by his sides. So you can't, you know, you can't call a you can't throw a card on that one. What this does is I think it's just supposed to launch. Let's give it a whirl and see what it does here. Push this down. <laughs> okay, it pops up in the air, I guess. Okay, now we have to play and see what it really is supposed to do. Oh, oh, my word. He almost caught it. That was sweet. I don't think it's meant to juggle, but I'm doing it, and that's cool. That's extra cool when I can. It just shoots it straight up in the air which doesn't make a whole lot of sense for soccer, but let's see if I can, I guess, catch it back on the tie. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. So one more time, you put it in here, you give this a push down, and there you go. Why it's shooting up in the air? I don't know. If it shot out, maybe a little bit more sense, but who cares, man? This is futuristic Hamburglar coming at you. Oh, look at this. He's swooping in. Look at this super futuristic from the year 3000. It's like I, it's like the future opened up a, a rift in space time right in front of me. And this came right out at me. And I said, oh, my word, this definitely looks like it's from the year 3000 because look at how advanced the robotics. And what is it you say? Grimace. Happy birthday, Grimace. I got to sing it every time, man. I love it. I love the happy birthday, Grimace song. Now, he's got one arm that is fully articulated, 360 degrees. The other one acts as a lever to activate the, the head blasting out at you. So what you want to do is you want to click his head down, and you want to insert this orange ball that they give you. Incidentally, McDonald's livery on that thing. And then what you do is you, <laughs> you, you misfire. See, now this one is meant to do this. It's like a header. You know, in soccer, when the ball comes and you give it the old header, well, that's what this thing does. And it launches quite nicely up straight up in the air. I don't know about that tie gimmick with the hamburger, but this dude's pulling it off. Ooh, ow, hit my eyeball. <laughs> Look at this futuristic looking thing that I have in my hand. Some sort of robotic device. What could it be? Is it a transformer? 
kind of, I don't know. Let's do some transformation, shall we? Some real basic kind. Let's see if I can hit some transformation noises here. Why, it's Robo Futuristic Ronald, and he's got this button that you shove in like this, and I am a scared to put the ball that he, they give you here for it in there because listen to this, and you can almost hear the force. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard it wants to jump right out of my hands. We're going to set the ball in here. I guess it just sets there, and then this is going to shoot, I'm assuming. I'm, uh, I'm assuming this will shoot if I can activate it without without losing the ball let's see how hard this goes hold on this is gonna be hard actually one-handed oh come on mitch santona that was weak sauce ready no oh, <laughs> there we go oh yeah man this has got some force to it i'm just gonna lean it back just a wee bit so it stays on there and oh ooh, look at that man firing everywhere let's see if we can hit the hit our little happy meal box see what it does oh you hear the force so this thing is ultra sweet it's a transformer almost that changes into absolutely nothing. It is 1997's McDonald's Soccer 3000, actually from the year 3000, I think. I don't know, man, a lot of time, timey-wimey stuff going on with this video here and a lot of craziness. What a weird little set they came out with, but it's an import not found in North America. Now, if you want to hear my, my true thoughts about it, hey... Why don't you sign up less than a cup of coffee a month, 99 cents. You can become a channel member and you can see another video of this exact set called Trash or Treasure, where I tell you if it's worth you hunting down this weird but kind of cool set. I don't know. You won't know. I won't know. We'll see in Trash or Treasure. So check that out. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more drive through toys just for you. Reba Dirty Babies, you guys have a nice day.